of your life. Looking out for your health and wellness, this is Health Talk with Fred Lowry from Lowry Drug in Statesville. Call now to ask Fred your health questions, 704-873-1400, 704-873-1400. You can also visit Fred at his store, conveniently located on Hartness Road in Statesville. Good morning. Uh, Fred Lowry Drug um, serves Statesville since 1959. Lowry is a full-service traditional pharmacy with a state-of-the-art compounding laboratory. Lowry Drug offers a wide variety of services, a full selection of herbs, homeopathic, essential oils, and a full line of Hammer Sports Nutrition products. Lowry Drug has a full-time CPAP and BiPAP technician to help you get the right fit on your mask. Lowry has a complete line of American-made Golden Technologies lift chairs and scooters to help you stay mobile. When you need it now, Lowry can help. Your choice for the best selection of medical equipment, and you always get front door parking and free citywide delivery. I'm here with Fred Lowry Jr., pharmacist and doctor of natural medicine, and this is Health Talk. Good morning, Fred. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Good, good, good. A little chilly outside. It is a little cold. I think it finally turned, huh? Yeah. Uh, fortunately, it's not going to stay in the 20s for more than a couple of days. So. All right. <clears throat> so that's good. Now, uh, before we uh, started out, uh, before we came on the air, uh, we, we were just talking about uh, food as it has changed over the years. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and, um, you know, one of the things I've uh, told people to stay away from is the seed oils. And uh, what happened years ago was they came up with this stainless steel press <clears throat> that could extract oil from, from seeds. And um, that included cotton seed. So cotton seed, uh, when you press it is kind of an oily uh, dark color it doesn't smell very well it's basically a waste product <clears throat> now we're going to try and use that for the candle industry at a time that uh, candles were going away you know mm-hmm. uh, so what they did was they uh, I think it was Procter and Gamble turned it into Crisco so they, they bleached it and changed it and turned it into Crisco wow. which was a uh, prior to that, most people ate animal fats, you know, yeah. or you cooked with animal fats, uh, lard, tallow from beef, uh, you know, chicken fats, <clears throat> those kind of things. So, yeah. so that was, and the recommendations uh, came along, which was probably the worst uh, recommendation that. Uh, the uh, higher ups made to people was to to use more seed oils, more they call it vegetable mm-hmm. oils, which sounds good. Corn oil, uh, things like uh, canola, yeah. oil, all those things. Worst thing you can consume in terms of your your health. Now, what does it do to your body compared to animal fats? Well, a- animal fats is you know in terms of uh, and and that was. <clears throat> There, there was this notion that uh, that, that animal fats were, was what was causing heart disease. There was there was actually not any real evidence for that. But you know, sometimes we get these trends and, and marketing things that, that people um, start promoting, and and we think of those as as being good. And and if you listen to ads even today. I think you'll hear the American Heart Association still recommending these seed oils for people. Mm-hmm. So what happens is, uh, so each each cell of your body, the cell membrane is fats. There's two layers of fat there. And the type of fat that's in that cell wall determines how well that cell functions. It's kind of like the gatekeeper. So. There's the fats and, and cholesterol in there. So if you're eating trans fats like uh, margarine, if you're eating uh, you know, corn oil or canola oil, it gets in there. It's pro-inflammatory. It doesn't work the way regular fats work, mm-hmm. you know, real fats. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not a good choice. The other thing that happens that uh, a lot of people don't, wouldn't even – realize we're thinking about but that the quality of the fats also you know regulate the nutrients and the, uh, going in and things coming out of the cell wall uh, and and also 
this, uh, if you consume this type of food, it makes you more sensitive to electromagnetic fields, particularly 5G. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it has a, a real negative effect on the body, you know, joints. And we, we try to fix these problems sometimes with drugs. Uh, but, you know, I would say there's, uh, there's probably three or four things that, that must be in place and f- for people to get well. You know, you, you've got to consume good quality water. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to. There's a a, a product we have that's uh, it's a kind of a pink salt. Uh, it's a mixture of Himalayan salt and other other salts. But you know, putting a, like a pinch of that uh, salt in your in your water, you know, put some minerals in there because traditionally water uh, you know, had minerals in it. You know, and a lot of times we don't, we don't have that through our filtration and mm-hmm. other things, and so. Uh, that might be a good thing. I, I mentioned uh, doing the sun water. It's getting a little more difficult to do that uh, nowadays, but, you know, as it gets colder. But sunlight actually charges the water. It will actually change the pH of the water, uh, and, and that is an improvement. And that's called solarizing, correct? I believe uh, so. Water, yeah, water mm-hmm. solarizing. Yeah, you just take a large glass container, put it out in the sun for the day, day even if, People have asked, well, what if it's cloudy? You know, the, the electro, you know, the the sun is still there, the light is still there. Mm-hmm. It's just, <clears throat> it's just cloudy. Now, now with the water, um, you know, uh, everything they put everything in tap water. You know, they put chlorine, uh, fluoride, and uh, what what's the best alternative out there? Is it to to filter it, to distill your own water, or just to buy bottled water? Well, it's, it's a good question, and <clears throat> I'm not sure there's a a great answer for that, but tap water is certainly has is chemical laden, mm-hmm. you know, in terms of that, and and uh, <clears throat> it would be considered dead water in, in many ways, and that's why the sunlight helps with that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, chlorine will uh, uh, evaporate out of water. About how long does that it, take? I think it's 24 hours, 24 uh, hours but okay. you can certainly use a, like a Brita filter, mm-hmm. uh, activate a charcoal filter. That will help get the, the chemicals out of it uh, or, or many of them. Mm-hmm. Now, having that supplement, that's what you would put in that water? Yeah, you could you could add that uh, and or, you know, some people get distilled water and drink that. I think adding some minerals to that would be a good idea. Um, so, Is drinking this, this straight distilled water, is that healthy for you? There, the the jury's out on that. Some okay. so there are some doctors that say yes, it's fine. Uh, I would say probably not particularly because it's not uh, the same as the model. It's certainly better than than drinking tap water, but you know, uh, being devoid of minerals in there, you know, real spring water uh, has has minerals in it. Mm-hmm. You know when. Uh, <clears throat> There's a, there, a full cycle of water cycle is when the water goes into the ground and then you get it back up through mm-hmm. a well. It's a, there's a purification process that goes on there, and it, it's, it, the water is greatly improved uh, by doing that versus half a cycle is running off into a stream and then, you know, we're, we're reusing that. Because, but, you know, there are some um, major difficulties in terms of providing uh, water to large populations and so the chlorine is a way of uh, taking care of the bacteria that's mm-hmm. there but uh, you know, ideally we don't want to drink that either yeah. so <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, you know what's the balance here so um, I understand I've, 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 I saw a documentary sometime on TV where they showed uh, the, the 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 person who first used chlorine in water and he was in there's a big backstory but are, are we overusing it now because, I mean, we have plumbing in the United We have good plumbing, good sewage in the United States. We have access to a lot of, you know, healthy <coughs> products. Is the, is, are we putting too much chlorine in our, in our water? Well, I, I, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. But I can tell you in terms of uh, the improvement of uh, in eradication of disease in the world has to do more with plumbing sanitation Mm -hmm. and that that, than anything, you know, because access to clean water and and being able to, you know, handle sewage situations. So 
so that you know the the engineers and the the people that created that had a tremendous amount of influence on the health of of the world mm-hmm. really so <clears throat> you know you've got the the water thing and then uh, you know the foods that you consume and so I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the statement that if you know if you're if you're drinking the wrong fluids like soft drinks, uh, not drinking adequate water, if you're not eating you know good quality food, taking care of yourself there, if you're not minimizing your overall toxic load, the you know, the chemicals that you're using and uh, consuming, uh, and other things you've been exposed to, then there's really no no real way for you to get well in terms of your, your overall health. You know, we sometimes we use drugs to intervene with, you know, in these situations where we, we're really just doing the wrong things mm-hmm. in terms of that. So, uh, you know. So sh- nutrition is number one. Yeah, what you, what you consume, <clears throat> what you consume in terms of food and water. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, those are one and two, and you know the, your toxic load's number three. Mm-hmm. You know, so all these things, and and, and all of this uh, this health stuff uh, relates to how how you your body's able to adapt to other things, including five G. So you got a call. Yes. All right, you're listening to Health Talk. Uh, you have a question. Uh, yes, I was just wondering. I I was listening to uh, the program this morning and. And I, I didn't quite catch. Did he say that tap water is good for you or not good for you? Well, it's 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 all relative. Uh, just straight tap water by itself does have chemicals in it. it has chlorine and, and fluoride. Um, both of those. Uh, well, now I'm talking about well water. Okay. Well, well, well water uh, should be. Uh, very good for you. Now, some of our wells are heavy in iron or in this area or other things, you know, as long as you have your, it's a good idea to have your water tested. There are some some wells uh, that are shallow wells that may have things in them that uh, you don't want, but uh, deep wells, I think, are, are a great source of good water. Okay. Well, had me worried there for a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm talking I about... Know, Talking about, yeah. I was talking I about treated county. water. Yeah. Yeah, I live in the county, and I've been drinking well water for a lot of years. Well, and and, and that's that's what I have as well, uh, but I do have a uh, you know a whole house filtration <clears throat> system on that, uh, yeah, particularly because I have a lot of iron in my well. Okay, I guess the best thing to do is just uh, find out how to have it tested. I don't really understand. Who I'd contact or something like that. Uh, you could probably uh, find s- something online. Um, you know, the, there's a, a company called Aquasana, A Q U A S A U N A, Aquasana that uh, has uh, filtration systems available, uh, either okay. under the counter or whole house. You know, and and sometimes it's just better to use some type of filtration system like that. One. Now you you'd mentioned that I can't remember the name, but like the pitcher that has a little filter in it. Does that uh, filter just just like something that you wanted to use for drinking water? Yeah, Brita has got the uh, Brita. Yeah, I think uh, it's an activated charcoal filter, and so that does a good job. <clears throat> it does a good job. I I don't know how often they recommend changing it, but I think that's re- related to uh, you know. The, toxic load or whatever's in the water um there's another uh water filter called berkey and uh berkey's a ceramic water filter it's just it's a container you just pull water in the top and then it's got a tap on it uh, so that's that's another option for you but uh, if you got good well water get your container and uh, just do a little experiment put it outside in the sun for a day and and drink that see if you like that it, oh, okay. The, the water, it 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 actually, I think it it adds energy to the water as because it, uh, it does raise the pH of it. So there's more electrons there's in there. Plus, who knows what in terms of energizing that water from the sun. Oh, good tip. Well, 
Well, I thank you. I, I always enjoy listening to, to your programs in the morning. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Appreciate your call. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Y'all have a good day. Yeah. You too. So uh, those are uh, some of the basics. Uh, I, I did want to say I ran across this uh, <clears throat> article uh, talking about uh, excessive uh, deaths from uh, alcohol consumption mm-hmm. yeah. uh, during the pandemic. Uh, these these numbers went up. Alcohol consumption uh, went up. Uh, so they they looked at uh, deaths attributed to excessive alcohol consumption. Uh, the rates were were going up, um, and uh, it's it's somewhere of the, of the deaths in the twenty to forty nine year age group. One in five deaths is alcohol related. Oh wow! Which is um, somewhat shocking, really. Uh, deaths included alcohol poisoning, motor vehicle uh, accidents, suicides. Falls, alcohol-related liver disease and pancreatic uh, disease, and um, so there was a there was a certainly a, an increase uh, in alcohol consumption during the uh, pandemic, where people were, were staying at home. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, the the alcohol stores were able to remain open, correct? Yeah, it's kind of a curious thing in that that was considered. Uh, Essential. Yeah, uh, that's a, just really a, odd. An essential business. Uh, at the same time, during that, uh, churches were not essential. Wow. Gyms were not essential. Parks and beaches were, were shut down. Uh, it, 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 you know, I could go off, off on this, but it's it's amazing the the logic and and what was perpetrated on the American people with the decisions of people that are in power that are supposed to know what the they're doing mm-hmm. you know and, and they probably did yeah, know what I'm they sure, were doing I'm sure they did. Uh, so uh, makes me angry mm-hmm. <clears throat> but uh, nonetheless um, you know with that uh, situation uh, during 2020 uh, deaths rose uh, more than 25 percent in the following year, uh, up 34 percent total from in pre-pandemic levels. Wow. You know, and of course this is uh, attributed to uh, lack of social contact, loneliness, a general dissatisfaction with the existing situation, which most everyone did have uh, clearly. So, um, you know, this is certainly a problem in terms of a preventable thing uh, of course it there's a lot of uh, addiction related things related to health uh, certainly uh, there's a lot of people that will tell you that artificial sweet and uh, soft drinks are addictive you know uh, there there are foods that are addictive sugars addictive mm-hmm. you know but uh, certainly uh, alcohol uh, related things in terms of liver damage uh, you know all kinds of things related to that uh, that are not good so obviously so you know but going back to the soft drinks um, high fructose corn syrup damages the liver because it's uh, it, your, your body processes high fructose corn syrup differently uh, than glucose and you get toxic byproducts from that, including uric acid. So if you're prone to, to gout, gout yep. and you're drinking soft drinks, you're creating that problem. Mm. So that's a, uh, an issue. And that is a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, also associated with uh, you know, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease. I, re- I remember... Um, one time I was uh, producing your show a couple months back, and I, I believe we had talked about. Um, uh, I was I, I bought a, dr- uh, a soft drink. I think it was a Mountain Dew, and the whole um, the whole line. Uh, Pepsi brought out a whole line of throwbacks where they it looked original from you know forty years ago the bottles, and they used real sugar mm-hmm. in it. And I remember drinking that, and I remember not liking it. Because you've gotten used to the other. And, and I looked at my wife, and I was like, what am I drinking? 
you know if, <laughs> what what do I like the real sugar I did not like it just did not taste good to well, me, and I was really surprised in it well there are people that uh, consume artificial sweeteners and they would say the same thing but it it kind of alters your brain chemistry a little bit in a way that this is what you're used to and and that's what you know when, when you're when you're consuming these things, you're kind of doing what your brain's telling you to do mm -hmm. because it's satisfying uh, that addictive cycle there. Mm. So, you know, addiction is, is, you know, or an addictive substance or behavior, you know. Uh, there's all kinds of addictions. But the addiction... It is something that makes you and your or your brain feel normal, even if it's just a sh short amount of time, mm -hmm. basically. And it, and part of that is created, you know, like cigarettes. You know, people feel better after they have, smoke a cigarette. The ones that are consuming that, but they don't realize that the reason they feel better is because they've started going into withdrawal. You know, and their brain saying, "Hey." You're, you're getting a little edgy. Why don't you have a cigarette? Mm -hmm. oh. So it's not just, I mean, it's, it's, it's all things like that. Mm -hmm. So well, what would you think the average uh, consumer uh, con you know, eats in terms of sugar per day? Oh, man. I couldn't even, you know, I, would, I, I couldn't tell you exactly how much they take, but I would say they take at least um, two to three times more than what they should. Yeah, well, there's... It says 25 teaspoons. 25 teaspoons. Which okay. is about a half a cup. Okay. You know, so... Is, is is the recommended amount correct? Where you shouldn't take any more than that, correct? Well, uh, it's recommended that you, you limit it to no more than three teaspoons. Three, oh, my per, God. <laughs> per day. I was way off. Yeah, so if, so if you, if you drink uh, some type of sweetener, sugar or honey in your coffee in the morning you're probably pretty close to done, you know, two or three cups. Well, you heard With, it here. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're done. Everybody listen to this show, you're done for the day. Yeah, you've already, you've already got your recommended daily <laughs> yes, allowance of that. That's it. That's it. But, you know, sugar is hidden in so many things, you know, if you're in processed foods, you know, if you ketchup, mustard, yeah. salad dressing, anything that says uh, low fat, it means sugar added, mm. you know, and, and when you start looking at that, you know, it's 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 not a good good thing mm. uh, overall, uh, you know. But so sugar is uh, very damaging, you know. Uh, as as we got into the let's just say the maybe the late fifties and sixties, you know, every everybody was eating, you know, we, we there was the box cereal. Plenty of sugar to eat, you know, three or four teaspoonfuls on your your, uh, mm -hmm. your cereal, Crisco, all, all these things. And, you know, the, the children had a lot of cavities during mm -hmm. that time, you know, so probably uh, weren't brushing as much. And now, the, now those children weren't fat, though. Because they were outside running around, they were burning that up, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, a sedentary lifestyle, you know, when you're eating that stuff, you, you're not burning calories, mm -hmm. you know. And, and this time of the year, of course, it's you run into that more and more because of the the daylight issues, you know. And people don't want to get outside when it's cold, but you know. Yeah. So, um, so there there are some things that. Uh, that you can do related to this. And there's a tremendous number of people that are having um, fatty liver disease that's not related to alcohol at all. They don't even consume alcohol. Wow. And, and part of that is that high fructose corn syrup, uh, problems with nutrition related to the liver. You know, everything in the body works that, that is nutrient related. You know, so the... Um, liver uses B vitamins. It uses vitamin C. There's other um, amino acids in there related to how it detoxifies. So uh, some things that, that that you can do is uh, take N acetylcysteine. Um, you know that can help uh, help the liver. That was the thing that we a lot of people took during uh, COVID. You know mm -hmm. when they were, were treating uh, COVID as a 
antioxidant and it, it uh, increases uh, important uh, things in, in the liver. Uh, the B vitamins, uh, the folates, uh, B12 are important. Uh, herb, herbal medicine is really uh, great for uh, liver related things and I know we're running out of time. Uh, milk, thistle, uh, dandelion, yeah. other things like that. So uh, there, there is help out there for some mm-hmm. of those things. Come see us. All right, all right. All right. Health Talk is brought to you by Lowry Drug. I'm here with Fred Lowry, Jr., pharmacist, doctor of natural medicine, and this is Health Talk. Go and see Lowry Drug on Hartness Road in Statesville. Front door parking and free citywide delivery. Call 704-873-2247. That's 704-873-2247. All right, Fred. All right. You have a good week. Happy Thanksgiving.